Good morning everyone, it's Monday again and I'm off to work. Here's what I'm taking with me for beverages, lunch, and snack. My usual coffee and tea. Coffee is zero smart points with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half. Dairy Star fat-free half and half for zero smart points. Tea this morning is Teamy Bloom, the black sweet tea. It is one tablespoon for zero smart points and I have that in my Teamy tumbler with some lemon juice. So coffee and tea are both zero smart points. Lunch today is going to be a smart bun eggs benedict. So it is first of all a smart bun. The smart bun is one smart point. If you guys are interested in getting smart buns or smart cakes there's a link in my description box which will take you to the website. Use my coupon code if you want a discount but if you go to the website it will show you all of the products that they have available. Everything is one smart point. So this smart bun is one smart point. I'm going to do an open face eggs benedict with it. And I'm going to layer on, let's see, two slices of, this is the Land of Frost, Land of Frost Canadian Bacon. I'm going to put one slice on each side, so two slices of Canadian Bacon is zero smart points. And then I have one slice of cheese for each side. One slice of this Kraft Fat-Free Singles is zero smart points, and two slices is one smart point. So that'll be one smart point for the cheese. And then I have two eggs that I will poach in the microwave for um, my Eggs Benedict. So it's one smart point for the bun and one smart point for the cheese. So two smart points total for my Smart Bun Eggs Benedict. Put all that in there. And then I'm gonna have that with an unsweetened Mott's applesauce for zero smart points. So lunch is two smart points. And then my snack is here. I have some fresh cut pineapple. Pineapple is zero smart points. I'm going to put on top of that some pistachio yogurt. So this is one half cup of Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt for zero smart points. And one and a half tablespoons of the Jell-O sugar-free fat-free pudding for zero smart points. So my pineapple pistachio yogurt is zero smart points. And then I have a pear to probably eat on the way home if I need it. Um, if not, that's fine, it is zero smart points. So everything I'm taking today that I'm going to have before dinner is going to be two smart points. Hey everyone, happy Monday. It is my first walk break of the day and here's my outfit of the day. These are literally two of my favorite, favorite pieces, favorite jeans ever. Venus.com, um, they are a size four, but they are a loose size four. So um, if you go a couple weeks ago, they were actually on sale. So if you like them, go now and check Venus.com. They are the patchwork jeans, but they do, they are a looser fit. So if you want a tight fit, size down one. And then this sweatshirt is from The Lace Cactus, which I access on Facebook. You can um, see her on Facebook. I think she actually posts more new stuff on Facebook, but she also has a website. Anyway, it is The Lace Cactus. I love both of these pieces. So of course, I love my outfit today. Anyway, it's Monday. And just to recap how the weekend went, I was kind of lazy on all three of my goals on Friday. I did not hit my blue dot, I did not do my mile, and I did not hit my 16,000 step challenge. So Friday was kind of a wash. And that's okay because I kind of recouped a little on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday I hit, I ran my mile and I hit my 16,000 steps. And Sunday I ran my mile and I hit my blue dot. So I'm super happy that the entire weekend was just not a wash but I think of all those goals the thing I'm most happy about is the blue dot day on Sunday because Sundays are not Sundays weekends and by weekends I pretty much mean Friday Saturday and Sunday are always super super challenging for me not only because we always have so much going on um, but also because I have the weekend mentality it's the weekend I can eat more I can drink more <laughs> yeah it's a mental thing for me. So I'm super, super happy that I was able to pull it out on Sunday and not fall into the um, eat more, drink more weekend trap. So I really, really want to focus more on getting more blue dots and being 
more consistent throughout the entire week. So it's cool that I can prove to myself that yes, it can be done with my schedule, with my life, um, with my choices. <laughs> so I've already got the entire next week planned and also into the weekend. The weekend is super busy, literally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So four days of challenges this weekend. So I've already got it planned out, but I really wanna go back and take another look now and see if I can refine it more and get at least, at least one of four of those days in the blue dot range. At least one, but preferably two, because my goal is five days out of seven um, with blue dots. So if I could get two of those weekend days in the blue dot range, then I will be at my goal again. So I'm gonna take another look at those days and see what I can move around and what I can change and what I can substitute to be within the blue dot. So very excited about that. Um, today, it's very blustery out here. Um, today I plan, I should hit all my goals, no problem. I plan to walk with my friend at lunch. I'm doing a four mile run after work. Um, yeah, I should hit all my goals, no problem. I do have to go home right after work. Um, I'm gonna have to shower, make dinner, and then I have to make the rest of those cake pops. So I'll probably be making one, two, three, probably about three to four dozen cake pops tonight. Um, yeah, because I've got two dozen for orders, and then Eddie and his mom want um, some more as well. So I'll probably be making three to four dozen cake pops tonight after dinner. <laughs> so it may be a late night for me, but um, still feeling better than I was last week. I'm not feeling as stressed or like I'm working too much. I got the majority of the extra Weight Watcher shifts out of the way. I had two extra on Sunday and one extra on Tuesday. So I got all of the extra Weight Watcher work out of the way. Tonight I will have the extra Cake Pop work out of the way. And then I think I'm done for Side Hustle for February, but I gotta look and see if I actually earned enough to make up for what I already spent. Remember, I need to earn what I spent and then also earn the same dollar amount to put towards a bill, which will be paying off my cell phone in March. So, um, but yeah, I'm feeling much less stressed, less overwhelmed. And I also know that the 15 mile run was stressing me out last week. And this week I don't have a long run um, until Monday because I'm trying to push the long runs to the weekends now because I really need to be running outside during the day. So I'm not doing that until Monday, which is a holiday. So no stress there, um, but it will be an 18 mile run. But that's a week from now, so I'm not thinking about it. I don't care. It'll happen when it happens. Anyway, it's real cold out here, so I'm gonna hurry and get back to work. Do you like my eyeshadow? It's a lovely lilac color. I love it. Thank you, Gina Pearson. I um, I didn't have that color at all, so it's kind of fun to go outside the box a little and do something different. Anyway, I'll check in with you guys. I do need to run to the dollar store yet again on my next break um, for stuff that I didn't find yesterday when I went. So I need to do that. So I probably, or I may not see you guys until after work. Hope you're having an awesome Monday. Oh man, I also forgot to tell you guys that, um, so I'm listening to the book Into the Woods by Tana French. It's pretty good. Um, I feel like we're getting there, we're making some progress, but I was listening to the twins today. I can't remember the name, Kelly and, sorry. Um, they're on my liked videos. Anyway, I was listening to them talk about a book called The Woman in the Window. <laughs> And they made it sound so amazing that I had to get it like right away. So I am super excited to get through the book that I'm on. I also have another book, The Bollywood Affair, that I've already bought to listen to. And so I just bought The Woman in the Window, which I'm gonna listen to next because I'm just excited to hear it. And I finally bought um, The Murder House by James Patterson. So I've literally got a lineup of books to get to. So. It's a toss up you guys. I got to balance watching YouTube videos and listening to my book, but I really want to get through a couple books right now. So 
think I'm gonna do some extra listening. Hey guys, I'm on my second walk break of the day and I just wanted to remind you all, don't forget to go to the Google document and enter all your steps for this weekend. You guys are doing awesome. I went there earlier this morning and entered my steps. Um, I've missed two days so far for this week, but I'm holding steady <laughs> second week at about five days out of seven, hitting my 16,000 steps. So you guys are doing amazing. Just don't forget to go add your steps. And for those of you who forgot, um, to enter your steps last week or didn't enter them before I tallied them, I will go back and just check through the list again and make sure I got everyone who hit their goal six days out of seven for the first week. And I'll just, I'll keep going back throughout the month so that I can make sure that I'm getting everyone. So I'll let you guys know. Anyway, on my way to the dollar store, I'm just getting a thing or two for dinner and something for my desk and work 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 hey guys i'm on my second walk break of the day and i just wanted to remind you all don't forget to go to the google document and enter all your steps for this weekend you guys are doing awesome i went there earlier this morning and entered my steps um, i've missed two days so far for this week but i'm holding steady <laughs> second week at about five days out of seven hitting my 16,000 steps so you guys are doing amazing just don't forget to go add your steps. And for those of you who forgot um, to enter your steps last week or didn't enter them before I tallied them, I will go back and just check through the list again and make sure I got everyone who hit their goal six days out of seven for the first week. And I'll just, I'll keep going back throughout the month so that I can make sure that I'm getting everyone. So I'll let you guys know. Anyway, on my way to the dollar store, I'm just getting a thing or two for dinner and something for my desk and work, work, work. Okay, I just had an awesome four mile run. Great energy, higher speed. I did uh, 6.5 miles an hour to seven miles an hour. It always feels so good to do a very high energetic run after a few days off. So I guess those three days, actually Friday I was like completely off, lazy butt, and Saturday and Sunday I just ran a mile. So I guess those three days were very productive. I am eating my pear right now because we are headed home and I've got to shower and maybe do a few things before I get dinner together. Um, dinner is going to be that zero point lemon caper scallops over spaghetti squash again because that was amazing. It has um, all of that lemon caper scallops and spaghetti squash and cherry tomatoes. So it's very good. I'll show you guys uh, what's in it when I get to it. And I actually 
think I typed out the recipe for this one at one point. So if I did, I will put it down below in the description box. So I'll see you in a while. Okay guys, I also forgot to mention that as you know, Eddie and I are going to be in Orlando, in the Orlando area in April for a couple weeks and we would love to do a meetup and get together with all of you guys out there who are close and who would be able to meet with us in Orlando. So if you guys want to meet Eddie and Julie, the Eddie and Julie show, then here's the date. We nailed down a date and I'm sorry that it's not super flexible, but we already have so much going on during the time we're going to be in Orlando. So we've nailed down a date. It's going to be Friday, April 20th in Orlando. So I'm hoping that because it's a Friday evening that a lot of you can come who have to work during the week. Um, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys as well because I would love to meet anybody who lives in Florida or lives close or is on vacation at the same time. I think it would be a lot of fun. So we're looking at Friday, April 20th. Mark your calendars, guys. Come see us if you can. We're going to find a restaurant in Disney Springs. I'm looking for something that is fairly quiet um, because I want to be able to talk to you guys. I want to be able to enjoy a couple drinks and some appetizers and just hang out and talk with you guys. So I need, if you have any suggestions for a fairly quiet, um, nice, not crazy expensive <laughs> restaurant in Disney Springs, let me know. And then also if you are interested in meeting with Eddie and I on April 20th, please let me know down below so I can get sort of a head count so that I know if I need to make reservations or anything like that. Or I mean, if there's like two of us and we're just gonna go to McDonald's or something. <laughs> I don't really like McDonald's, so let's not do that, okay? Um, but it's anyway. Only two of us, and I think McDonald's has a two for five. Ooh, but they don't have beverages. <laughs> not Julie beverages. It's okay, I'll bring mine. I always do anyway. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to meet with us, April 20th, let me know down below. And if you know of a nice and quiet restaurant in Disney Springs, let me know as well. So, looking forward to it. Okay, it's 8.40 and here is my dinner, which is super, super early, which is very strange, but um, it would be nice, except that I have to actually eat this and then go ahead and start making the rest of the last three dozen cake pops. So I'll probably eat this while I make the cake pops, um, but this is the lemon caper scallops with spaghetti squash that I made I think like a week and a half or so ago. It's so good. It's so good you guys and it is absolutely zero smart points. So here is what is in it. Um, obviously spaghetti squash. This is cooked spaghetti squash and I have about a cup and a third or a cup and a fourth which is funny. I I have to measure spaghetti squash because I love it so much. I will eat so much that my stomach is uncomfortable and so I measure it and I should have just done a cup but I do this every time I'm like that doesn't look like enough so I did like a cup and a third it's like a cup and a third or a cup and a fourth um, which is obviously still too much because look look how much <laughs> that is so much but I'm probably gonna eat it all because once it's on my plate and it's this good I'm gonna eat it so it's like a cup and a third of spaghetti squash for zero smart points and then I have some cilantro for zero smart points and I have some halved cherry tomatoes for zero smart points. The lemon caper sauce is actually, um, so it starts with a cup of chicken broth for zero smart points. It has some minced garlic for zero smart points. I used fresh lemon last time but today I'm lazy and so I used two tablespoons of this bottled lime juice. And then I'm supposed to put the capers inside but I forgot so I just sprinkled the capers on top, so I used about a tablespoon and a half of capers. Um, so that is all that's in the lemon caper sauce. I did not add wine this time because I couldn't taste the one tablespoon that I added last time, and I don't want to add enough that it actually adds points. So no wine sauce this time, and that is fine. So it's a lemon um, caper sauce, and then the scallops were just seared in a pan with Pam cooking spray. So I think that's everything in here. So everything is zero smart points. I think it's about four to five ounces of scallops. And then over here is my Bellini. So I have the grapefruit Bellini for 18 smart points with some frozen grapes. So 18 points, zero points. And then my lunch today was two smart points. So my total today 
for the end of the day is 20 smart points. Okay, here we go with round two of Cake Papaloosa. Today is red velvet and dark chocolate brownies. So these are the red velvet cake pops. And actually, you guys, red velvet and double fudge brownie. I don't know why I just said. Red velvet and double fudge brownie are my two favorite cake pops. They're so delicious. So these are kind of hard to stay out of, yes, but um, because I know that I need these for an order and the rest are for Eddie and his mom, um, it's pretty easy not to have one, but they're really good. So here they are before I dip them in chocolate and I'm gonna dip them and decorate them now. Okay, here's my red velvet cake pops all decorated and ready to go. I think they're so adorable. They're so yummy and they are actually so perfect for a Valentine's Day. So Eddie's going to bag these up for me so I can get started on the double fudge brownie. Okay, and here's my last batch of cake pops ready to be dipped. These are double fudge brownie. Yum, yum. Okay, here's the last batch, the double fudge brownie, all dipped and yummy and ready to go. Gonna bag these up and then I'm almost ready for bed. <laughs> Yay. Okay guys, here are two of my favorite cake pops ready to go and actually two of our best sellers as well. Red Velvet here, ready to go and ready to be delivered and double fudge brownie here. So, ah, my work here is done. I am ready to go to bed, but honestly, I have to say, I actually kind of enjoyed making these. So yes, still a little bit of the old, um, I do enjoy this, but I just don't like being overwhelmed by too many orders and too much business. So I don't know, we'll see if I can um, maybe make some sort of balance with this in the future. I don't know, it was a good side hustle, but it just, it's not, a huge money maker so I don't know anyway these are super good if you guys want to order anything let me know